Hey guys, Comic Boom here to review Wonder Woman issue 68. I'm kind of doing this a little bit on vacation here, so I thought I'd uh, rattle a quick review of Wonder Woman 68 off. The, this is the finale of the Giants storyline. Wonder Woman and Giganta are checking out the Titans. They're trying to stop the Titans. It would appear that the Titans are basically, they've been fighting and forming uh, uh, an area that is essentially forming a circle. And in the middle of the circle is where Maggie, the character Maggie, obtained that sword and sort of became like the Lady of the Lake again. And it's revealed in this issue, rather interestingly enough, that the sword belongs to Antiope. Uh, I think I'm saying that right, Antiope Sword, who is the grid, considered one of the greatest warriors on uh, Paradise Island, the, one of the greatest Amazonian warriors, according to Wonder Woman. And this Maggie now has acquired her sword. Now, interestingly enough, Wonder Woman seems to be of the belief that this is good news, finding Antiope Sword, because she thinks that maybe it's going to help her find the rest of uh, Themyscira, the rest of the Amazons. I don't know why she would think that. There's no indication or clues in this uh, comic book or in this story so far that would that should lead Wonder Woman to believe anything good about uh, Paradise Island still being around. By all accounts, it was likely destroyed. If Antiope is without her sword, that's probably not a good thing. It's far more likely to conclude that Ant Antiope is dead than to conclude that she's not dead, isn't it? So it's rather odd some of the conclusions that uh, Wonder Woman makes in this particular issue. But it is what it is. It is interesting that uh, um, Maggie obtaining the sword, uh, apparently the way things work with magic is that nothing is a coincidence. So the fact that Maggie ends up with the sword would lead some people to conclude that, uh, well, obviously um, we don't understand the ways of magic. So the, the way destiny works and everything else, is Maggie destined to be the next warrior? Uh, is she maybe have some Amazonian blood in her. What's the what's so special about Maggie that uh, the Lady of the Lake or whoever that, however she obtained the sword, why did Antiope's sword find its way to Maggie? How did Maggie end up finding the sword? And with the sword, Maggie commanded the Titans to basically stop battling Wonder Woman and Giganta, at least for a, for a period of time, following which Wonder Woman then takes out and destroys all the Titans. Now, Another aspect of this particular uh, storyline, which is interesting, has to do with uh, the a conversation between Wonder Woman and Giganta, which I think was probably the point of the story, but I don't know if the point was really that effectively made. Basically, Giganta thinks Wonder Woman holds back on her power because she's got a power set and she believes that Wonder Woman isn't honest with herself, which is kind of funny because Wonder Woman's this embodiment of truth, or at least embodies truth through her magic lasso. Giganta thinks that Wonder Woman is holding back her power and basically she, she portrays this fake kind of morality when in fact she likely views humans as being peons and because they're so weak and pathetic when she's so powerful. And to a certain extent, at least in Giganta's eyes, Wonder Woman proves her point, proves Giganta's point by finally deciding not to hold back on the Titans and destroy them. Apparently, for the last three issues, Wonder Woman... Wonder Woman was under the understanding that the Titans were actually sentient and that they had feelings and emotions and for that reason she didn't want to outright destroy them and that's why she recruited Giganta to help her because she wanted some help to subdue or otherwise defeat the Titans without having to destroy them. Now apparently somewhere along the storyline in this issue Wonder Woman concludes that the Titans are in fact just a bunch of rocks and don't have sentience. I don't know why she would conclude that. It's clear to me, at least it certainly seems like they're written like they have sentience. They're commanded by Maggie once she had Antiope's sword. So Antiope, with the use of Antiope's sword, Maggie commands the Titans. The Titans were essentially protecting the sword and now were commanded by the sword. But it looks like now, I guess, they're glorified magical robots, I guess. So for whatever reason, Wonder Woman concludes since they didn't have sentience, she was just gonna outright destroy them. And that's what she did. And she really showed off her power, even impressing Giganta. Now, there seems to be some, uh, there's a price of, there is the issue of the payment. Now, interestingly enough, again, it's a little bit intriguing that Giganta was expecting some payment for helping out Wonder Woman. And at least that's what they negotiated early on, but they never established what the payment was. It was revealed here that Giganta is gonna have two years taken off her prison sentence, essentially with the Suicide Squad. Uh, but there was also additional payment that she wanted from Wonder Woman. 
Curiously enough, Giganta says, I, when Wonder Woman tries to address the issue of what Giganta wants as a payment for helping her, Giganta says, don't worry about it. Whether you know it or not, I've already got, I've already been paid and I've discovered, you know, basically Giganta was implying that I, I now know some secret about you or about your character that is more than payment enough and, it, and it's sort of hinted that it's going to come back to haunt Wonder Woman. Again, I don't really think Giganta, Giganta, there's some, there's been some great dialogue issues with Giganta, at least last issue and some good interactions between Giganta and Wonder Woman in this arc. But it seems to have gone really nowhere. We've had four issues here where really nothing happens. We've had four or five issues where, I mean, this has been one long conversation and, and to, to establish what? To basically establish a new character, Maggie, who's a waitress getting a sword. It's, it's so boring, this arc. It's so boring. And so that reason it's disappointing. I can't recommend this arc. I really can't. J. Willow Wilson, this is a very disappointing run. I, I don't really understand, I don't think J. Willow Wilson knows where she wants to take the storyline. I don't think she's got a handle on Wonder Woman's voice, other than very typical tropes and cliche sort of uh, rhetoric, which we've heard time and time again. I really wish there was more of a voice here, more of a vision. I'm not excited about where this is going. This is really, really boring stuff. She doesn't even have a handle on, is it Olymp, it was not, a, it, was it Olympus that was destroyed? Or was it, uh, I mean, the other kind destroyed all, all facets of magic. It was Nanda Pabot that was the Parvet that was destroyed with uh, Justice League Dark and uh, the way magic and the other kind sort of uh, was uprooted and the other kind attacked. And Olympus itself, if Olympus itself was destroyed, then uh, why, what, what has happened to all the gods? All the actual interesting questions weren't really addressed here at all. This has been a wasted opportunity through sub meet subpar art to basically get us to a to a character maggie a very boring character who now has antiope sword and the other thing is referencing antiope and not showing her at all was really disappointing there was a scene here with uh, aphrodite apparently talking to aphrodite uh, talking to maggie basically suggesting that you know she's she's special now uh but it seems like Aphrodite herself seemed to have some idea what was going on and yet nonetheless allowed Wonder Woman to go on this wild goose chase and to, to chase the, uh, the Titans or to, to track down the Titans. The whole thing seems uh, just contrived and somewhat disappointing. And I'm just going to leave it at that. The art here was a little better. Carrie Andrews, uh, Carrie Andrews variant cover is gorgeous. It's beautiful. I did a sort of collage of a combination of Carrie Nard's art and I think there's other artists in this issue. And overall, the art's a slight improvement over the four or five issues, but again, disappointing overall. Overall, I gotta give the storyline uh, out of, uh, I would give it probably a five and a half out of 10, the overall storyline uh, from beginning to end. I, w I can't recommend it. This is not Jay Willow Wilson's best work by any stretch of the imagination. I don't think she's got a vision for this. And overall, I think even between Batman, between Tom King's Batman, J. Willow Wilson's Wonder Woman, and Bendis' really up and down status with Superman and really hit and miss with him, the Trinity is kind of in a troubled state right now in the DC Universe overall. But, you know, maybe things will improve. Wonder Woman needs a new writer and Wonder Woman needs a new artist. She needs a vision. She needs a director of some kind. Uh, maybe if Greg Rucka got off, Lo Greg Rucka will be writing Lois Lane. As much as I, I, was, I had mixed feelings about Greg Rucka's Wonder Woman run, at least he seemed to have a vision and a direction of where he wanted to take the character. And even though I don't like his Vanilla Sky version of Wonder Woman, at least there was consistency, there was good dialogue, and there were story elements there that were moving forward and at least piqued my interest in some capacity. And Rucka had something to say about the character that even if I disagreed with it, I could appreciate his point of view and it was still an overall uh, thought-provoking read and, I, and for that reason uh, maybe having somebody like Greg Rekka back or even God forbid even have an, uh, an, a crossover between his Lois Lane run coming out this summer and, in June I believe and Wonder Woman I would even look forward to that although I won't hold my breath I don't see DC planning that but again I'm just speculating but in any event guys tell me what you think of Wonder Woman <laughs> Wonder Woman issue 68 Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter at Metropolis40. And until next time, Comic Boom, out.